the formidable robot. Hello, my name is Nikoli. I'm a Russian-American who started living in a neighborhood for 10 years. I used to be a worker of Nickelodeon Studios back in 2004. My position shifted every once a week, being a head animator to a cartoonist, even a writer of some episodes. However, one week was the week I would never forget. During the period of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, an episode was shelved during the period of season 3 called, Enchanted Nightmares, but because they wanted to be clever. They went with the Latin phrase. Iri M. to Somnia. I was tasked with watching the episode for animation errors. Me, and a few other interns and storyboard artists all gathered around as we watched the episode. The episode started with the title card. A dark blue title card with dark red words reading the phrase, Iri M. to Somnia. We all looked at each other but we carried on. The episode started with Squidward, going to his garden and inhaling before exhaling. Time to check on my carrots and veggies. Squidward said with a slight happy tone. When Squidward walked to the garden, chewing noises were heard, followed by an ear-splitting cartoony burp. <coughs> oh, hey Squidward! Patrick greeted. Your veggies tasted funny! Patrick said, showing a gray carrot. Squidward was about to scream at Patrick before his face contorted into puzzlement. He grabbed the carrot and looked closely. Patrick, did all the veggies have the same gray color? Squidward asked, puzzled. Nah, I was too busy eating, Patrick said. Squidward sighed. Of course, Squidward groaned. Listen, I'll look into this issue. Just don't eat my veggies again, all right? Squidward said sternly. Patrick nodded and went back to his house. Squidward went to the shed and looked at the seeds. Gray. Squidward's thought voice was heard saying. He looked at the back of the packet of seeds and noticed the date. July 14th, 1982. Squidward went pale. Patrick! Squidward screamed. The door to the shed suddenly exploded open as Squidward dashed into Patrick's home. Squidward practically ripped Patrick's rock before looking inside. Patrick was heard groaning. Squidward! I don't feel right! Patrick groaned. It's okay, Patrick! I'm gonna go get SpongeBob! Squidward ran to SpongeBob's house and frantically pounded at the door. That's when things got disturbing. The door slowly opens, and showed a close-up of Spongebob, wearing his crusty crab hat, but something was off. He had multiple eyes over his face. Spongebob's voice was heard, but it had a sickeningly demonic tone to it. You hear him say, I'm fine, Squidward. I've been the most fine I've ever been. Squidward screamed at the top of his lungs, running away to Patrick's house. As he got into Patrick's house, Squidward gasped. Patrick was worse. He had multiple eyes on his body. Oh god, it looked like trypophobia. Some people shivered, some actually screamed, others ran out of the testing room. Patrick spoke. He had the same sickening demonic tone, but it sounded deeper. What's the matter, Squidward? You seem like you haven't eaten your veggies. Squidward screamed at the top of his lungs yet again. SpongeBob was behind and pinned Squidward to Patrick's house. It showed a close-up of Squidward screaming, being pinned against the rock before it abruptly ended. The credits started playing, and then the episode immediately stopped. Everyone was furious. One of the storyboard artists demanded to know why the hell this episode was in production and why this was made. Upon the yelling and screaming, Derek Dryman was walking out when he heard the commotion. He asked if everyone was doing okay. We all looked at him, and one of the guys told about the episode. That's when Derek mentioned something that shocked us. That episode was originally planned to be the season 3 finale. But because the movie was greenlit, they shelved the episode, and replaced it with Spongebob meets the Strangler and pranks a lot. Sharon Ranft, Paul Crossgrove, Kurt Cobinson, and Phil Terman, were responsible for the episode, 
and claimed said episode was supposed to be a Halloween special. But, we had a Halloween episode before, called, Scaredy Pants. To this day, no one has seen the episode, except for all of you guys. On March 16, 2016, the episode was recovered on a flash drive, ripped onto a DVD, and then given to Nickelodeon Studios, passing off as the original two episodes, not realizing said episodes were already released by then. It was delivered by Mark Rockford Canston, who was an ex-animator for LT Grep, Danny Phantom, and used to work for the unreleased Danny Phantom theme song. As of 2024, no footage was released, with only two close-ups and the title card recovered from the pirated rip of the episode found on a website called, Toon Torrance with a Z, before the website was shut down. Who knows what would happen next. As of now, nothing had been heard about the episode or the whereabouts, 